Nadia, how are you? How, how, how's everything going today? I'm good, Jake. How are you? Doing very well. So obviously I'm chatting with you from Chicago and, and everyone here is obviously incredibly excited about this documentary. I'm curious in your time getting to know Mrs. Obama, how did you feel that, that the city of Chicago impacted the person that she was and then the person that she's become? The city of Chicago was such an important character in this film. I really understood from reading Mrs. Obama's book exactly how much Chicago influenced the person that she was. And it's something that I felt was important to highlight. You know, whenever you're putting a, a documentary about someone together, obviously you're going to really catch them in moments where maybe they're not on all the time, like Mrs. Obama always has to be. What was the most sort of humanizing moment that, uh, that you caught, that you realized, where you kind of just were reminded, like, oh, that's right, like you are, you are a person? You know, we have a scene in the film we call the belt scene. And mm -hmm. it's a moment when uh, she finishes getting dressed and she comes out, she's backstage at the tour. And uh, her brother Craig starts to, you know, kind of inquire about some parts of her outfit. And, you know, ultimately it's like a setup to like get her, catch her in a joke, right? Mm -hmm. And I think in those moments, it, it was just so fun to see Mrs. Obama interacting with her family. And, you know, I think it was just so revealing about who she is. And um, it, was a, it was a wonderful opportunity to, to like be in those moments, you know, and that's one of my favorite scenes in the film that does that. I love that. You know, as, as a documentary filmmaker, it's one thing to say, I'm going to do a documentary about Michelle Obama. But at that point, then you have to realize, or you have to figure out like, what, is, what is the story? Because there are 10,000 different directions you could really go with that. How did you determine what the story was going to be, what the, what the beginning and what the end was going to be? You know, I really felt it was important going into this project to allow the events that were unfolding to speak to me and to tell me what the story was going to be about. You know, so top of mind, the idea was Mrs. Obama is going on a book tour. This is her first time sort of really out in the world post White House. And then at the same time, I was also interested in telling a story about storytelling. What does it mean to go out and share stories? So those were sort of the two threads initially that were in my mind. And then as I got to spend more time with Mrs. Obama, the rest of the film really, you know, it unfolded in a way that, uh, you know, in some ways was surprising. And then in the edit, we had a really good idea from that point where we wanted to take it. If you were to flip the script and then turn around and do like, shall we call it a, a sequel or a spinoff and do a documentary on President Obama? Do you know, like, how you would approach that? Do you know what the angle of that one would be? I would say I would have no idea what the angle of that film is on the outset as well. <laughs> I think I think you would absolutely do an amazing job. I'm really curious about, I guess, sort of whatever agreement you have to come to with a documentary subject at the very beginning. Like, like you obviously have to, you want to tell the most honest, truthful story possible. And you, I'd imagine you have to go to whoever it is you're making the film about and say like, look, I got to see all of you. I, I need to see, you know, I don't want to see sort of, you know, just the version that's up on stage. I need to see everything. What kind of agreement do you have to come to with Mrs. Obama to make sure that uh, this story is as accurate and authentic as possible? Sure, so, you know, we're on the, we're on the road with Mrs. Obama during her book tour. And, you know, there were not any real restraints or anything like that for me filming. But at the same time, I have a huge amount of respect for Mrs. Obama's privacy, just like I would for anyone that I was making a film about. So, you know, if there were things that she asked, you know, uh, you know, one thing was, uh, you know, not filming her daughters at home. And that is completely reasonable request, you know. So um, for me, it's always important that whoever I'm making a film with, that their privacy is respected. And on the flip side of that, after you spend so much time with someone and get to know them on a, on a very deeply personal level, what kind of access do you have to them afterward? Like if you needed to call Mrs. Obama up today or you wanted to ask her to lunch one day, like do you have that ability to be able to call her up? You know, I haven't been in a position where I've needed to or have tried to do that, but you know, we do have a relationship. Very cool. Well, you should be incredibly proud of this project. It's absolutely unbelievable. I cannot, hopefully you'll let me talk to you for, uh, for your next one. And, and everyone in Chicago is, is deeply excited about this. And thank you for your work. Thank you so much. And thanks for talking to me today. Really a pleasure. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.